Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on third order homogeneous linear recurrence relation. How to solve the third order homogeneous linear recurrence relation that can be discussed in this video. In the previous video, we are already discussed about what is first order homogeneous linear recurrence relation and some example problems. Next, second order homogeneous linear recurrence relation with the six example problems. Now, we can go for how to solve third order linear homogeneous recurrence relation that can be discussed in this video. So generally the third order homogeneous linear recurrence relation has the following form with the constant coefficients. Here c power n into a power n a, power, a suffix n plus c power n minus 1 into a suffix n minus 1 plus c power n minus 2 into a suffix n minus 2 plus c power n minus 3 into a suffix n minus 3 is equal to 0 for n greater than or equal to 3. Okay, here what are the terms are there? This is the nth term, this is the n minus 1 term, this is the n minus 2 term and this is the n minus 3 term. That means nth term can be defined in terms of its immediate predecessor that is n minus 1 term and n minus 2 term and n minus 3 term. So hence we can say that this is a third order linear homogeneous recurrence relation for n greater than or equal to 3. So this can be treated as equation 1. In that equation c power n, c power n minus 1 and c power n minus 2 and c power n minus 3 are real constants and the necessary condition should be satisfied is c power n not equal to 0. This is the necessary condition we have to follow. Okay, now this is the general form of third order linear homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay, now what is the characteristic equation of this general form of third order linear homogeneous recurrence relation? So this is the characteristic equation. That means c power n into k power 3 plus c power n minus 1 into k square plus c power n minus 2 into k power 1 plus c power n minus 3 is equal to 0. This equation 2 is called as the characteristic equation of equation 1. Okay. Next, why it can be called as homogeneous? Okay. So now consider the equation 1. The right hand side part of equation 1 is equal to 0. So whenever the right hand side part is equal to 0, hence we can say that it is a homogeneous recurrence relation. Okay. Now, so what are the possible ways to solve the characteristic equation? First, we have to find out the roots of this characteristic equation. How many number of roots are there by solving this characteristic equation? There are three roots we are getting. In the case of second order, two roots we are getting. In the case of third order, we are getting three roots. Okay, next one. So what are the possible solutions uh, for finding out the root after finding out the roots of the characteristic equation? So the possible ways are, there are three cases are there based on the roots we are getting from the characteristic equation that is 2. Okay, so case 1, if the three roots of the characteristic equation are real and distinct. Okay, so from that characteristic equation we are getting three roots. 
the three roots are k1 k2 k3 okay so what is the first case in case 1 the three roots k1 k2 and k3 are real and distinct then what is the general solution the general solution a suffix n is equal to a into k1 power n plus b into k2 power n plus c into k3 power n here k1 k2 k3 are the roots of the characteristic equation here a and a b c are the real constants okay so this is the case one okay what is case one the three roots of the given characteristic equation are real and distinct then what is the general solution a sub x n is equal to a into k1 power n plus b into k2 power n plus c into k3 power n where a b and c are the real constants okay now when we go for case 2 the three roots of the characteristic equation are equal and real real and equal so that means k is equal to k1 is equal to k2 is equal to k3 the three roots of the given characteristic equation are equal and real then we can go for case 2 then what is the general solution so a suffix n is equal to a plus bn plus cn square into k power n so this k power n belongs to this entire product a plus bn plus cn square into k power n where k is equal to k1 is equal to k2 is equal to k3 okay so this case is used whenever the three roots k1 k2 k3 are real and equal okay then we can go for case 3 then we can say that we gave we go for uh, case 3 so when after finding out the roots of the uh, characteristic equation the three roots k1 k2 and k3 are real and imaginary real and imaginary then we can go for case 3 what is the general solution of the uh, given uh, given recurrence relation so that is a sub x n is equal to a into k1 power n plus r power n into c1 cos n theta plus c2 sin n theta okay where a comma c1 comma c2 are the constants and r is equal to here k1 is completed at this part next k2 k3 is there r is equal to mod k2 is equal to mod k3 is equal to root of p square plus q square and theta is equal to tan inverse q by p okay so this is the general solution for case 3 this is the general solution for case 2 and this is the general solution for case 1 whenever the three roots of the characteristic equation are real and distinct then we can go for case 1 this is the general solution the three roots of the given characteristic equation are real and equal then we can go for case 2 this is the general solution next the three roots of the characteristic equation are real and imaginary then we can go for case 3 okay so this is the general form of third order homogeneous linear recurrence relation and its characteristic equation okay so thank you Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please share this video to your friends and classmates. If you like this video, please subscribe my channel link. So, Dippela Srinivasarao. Thank you.